and this is the free motion quilting tutorial for a bubble path. This is stitched by first starting with a large circle, then travel around to the bottom of the circle and stitch a medium sized circle or a small circle. It's totally up to you. Then stitch a larger circle. You really want to have a nice difference between the two circular shapes because you're going to use this chain of circles as the base or the foundation for the next step of the design. So it really helps if they have a very noticeable difference between their sizes. Once you get to the edge of your quilting space, travel around the bottom circle and then run an echo running all along the side of your circular shapes. And you see why you really want to have a nice difference between the circles so that way you can create a nice wiggly line. And uh, I'm stitching on the edge of this quilting space here so I went in and filled in these areas with little uh, circular shapes to complete the design. It does have kind of an odd area because it's stitched from edge to edge. Once you finish that section then travel over to the other side of your circles and stitch the echo over here as well. And this is a really great way of, to practice echoing. And right here I'm echoing about an eighth of an inch away from the circles. Then once you finish that, simply start a new line of circles, starting with a medium sized circle and then moving on to a large sized circle. And here's what it looks like when you finish Bubble Path. For over 150 videos on free motion quilting, go to daystyledesigns.com.